All right, Shalom. First, I want to start by giving all praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakwadash, Rakata Yahweh, Rakata Yahweh Shai. Yahweh be the name of the Heavenly Father who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai be the name of his beloved Son who the world inwardly calls Jesus Christ. That's their true names in the last one, Kodash, the ancient Hebrew. Double honors to the apostles and others of great millstone. And blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. I'm back with our lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And, um, uh, I believe I'm gonna title this one. The end is manifest, okay? The end is manifest. And um Yeah, man. You know, here we are, January 19th, 2021. You know, a lot is going on. Okay, a lot is going on. Um tomorrow is the so called inauguration of uh Joe Biden. Okay, and I believe you have sixty five thousand uh, national guards there. Or if they're not, if it's not sixty-five thousand present in D.C., it's sixty-five thousand National Guards, okay, spread throughout the whole U.S., which we know at least twenty-five thousand is that is 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 in D.C., okay. Uh, we know that we're in the time of the end, okay, and uh, you know you can feel it in the air that uh, something major is coming down the um, down the pike, okay, and all these things we know is Yah it's, it's the working of Yahweh with Yahweh Shah. All right, the Lord said He was going to bring um, uh, uh, perilous times. Okay, He said He's going to bring a trouble, a tribulation that's never been before. Okay, and we're all about to witness it. We're all about to see. Okay, uh, the wrath of Yahweh with Yahweh Shah. And who is He going to use? Esau, even the so-called white man. All right, we've been telling you, Jakes, man. We've been telling you so-called Negroes, you Hispanics and you Native Americans, man, to get your act together, okay, to repent, okay, because the return of Yahweh Shai is nigh, okay? We've been telling you, man, you know, and now, you know, here we are, uh, middle of January 2021, and, 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 and the momentum hasn't, hasn't slowed down, man, okay? Things haven't slowed down. Things are actually speeding up. Okay, and we know we're, you know, one major event away from, from, you know, whatever it be, man. You know, we're one, one major event away from the shit hitting the fan. Okay, the scriptures say um, the Lord was going to plague Egypt as he did before. Second Edges 15 chapter. Okay, and one of those, uh, one of those plagues is darkness. Okay. One of those plays with darkness, I believe it was for three three days, three nights. And, um, you know, where I'm at, we've been having power outages all day. Okay? And we know that uh, the last couple of weeks, there's been power outages all over the globe. Pakistan, Mexico. Okay? Portland, Seattle. Okay? The Vatican. There's been blackouts all over the, over the, uh, the earth. Okay, and then you had that National uh, Geographic uh, movie that they put together called The Blackout. Okay, so they don't Esau don't make these things for no reason, man. All right, the Lord might just allow him to uh, to uh, you know shut shut the lights off, man. You know why? Because ultimately it's the wrath of the Lord. But what does Esau in his puny mind think he wants to do? He wants to depopulate, man. So he wants to bring mass death, man. You know, but uh, nonetheless, the end is manifest, man. Okay, and us servants that are in the light, the children of the light, you know, we're watching and praying, all right, hoping in the Lord's mercy, man. Okay, because we well know the times that we're in, all right. This is a uh, Proverbs 22 and 3 a prudent man for see of the evil, okay, and who's who's one that's prudent, all right, the men of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, that are wise, all right, that fear the Lord. And have understanding of the scriptures. Okay? Through our faith and our understanding, we foresee it, we foresee the evil, man. Okay, we see the the, the sword coming in the distance, man, as the scriptures uh describe in uh Ezekiel the third chapter. Give them warning for me. All right, we we've been sounding the uh the spiritual alarm, man. We've been blowing a trumpet. Okay? It says a prudent man foreseeth the evil. And hideth himself. And how are we hiding ourselves? Within this knowledge, man. Okay, the scriptures say that we're uh, the secret place of the Most High. You know, I always bring these scriptures out. Psalms 91 and 1. 
He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Okay, and the secret place of the Most High is this knowledge, man. Okay? The secret place of the Most High is this knowledge. Okay, and here we're safe. Okay? We're under the Lord's protection, under the, uh, uh, the Lord's hedge. Okay, we have the holy angels about us, man. Okay? It says, a prudent man foreseeth the evil. Okay, we see that Esau Edom is gearing up for something. All right, the scriptures tell you that the sword is sharpened and it's furbished. Okay? <clears throat> Paraphrasing, you know, for the slayer to slay. Okay, and you go to Romans, the 13th chapter, they tell you that he buried not the sword in vain. And we know that Esau Edom, he was, his blessing was the sword. Okay? You know? Bringing it to this time with his technology and all his advancements and his advantages that he has over the people. This is Yahweh, Yahweh Shai setting it up, okay, for that, that raft to, to go out. All right, and that tool that's being used is that uh, whooping stick, the so called white man, okay, who you Jakes loves uh, dearly, man, who you trim your ways for, who you look at as the standard of, of life, the standard of living. Okay, and that angers Yahweh Yahweh Shai that you uh you willing to serve the white man but not not him, okay, and it, it was Yahweh Yahweh Shai that set this man up, just as he did the kings uh, prior, you know, it's Yahweh Yahweh Shai that set this man up, and it's gonna be Yahweh Yahweh Shai that's gonna bring this man down, okay, a prudent man foreseeth the evil and where are some of the evils, okay, or right, it's gonna be a famine. Okay, it's going to be lawlessness, anarchy, uh, uh, civil war. Okay, it's going to be, um, uh, 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 you know, people breaking in each other's houses, stealing from one another, as the scriptures describe in uh, 2nd Hebrews 15. Okay, the scriptures say, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. All right, Esau Edom's going to uh, 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 come down with that great wrath because he knows that he have but a short time. You're going to have uh, World War Three. Okay, you're going to have foreign troops over here. You win troops over here. Okay? Slaughtering uh, 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 you people. Okay? That's some of the evils that we foresee. Okay? Economic collapse. Okay? Esau, of course, you know, he came with this uh, C-19. Uh, 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 So-called pandemic, And then uh, through that, he's able to push out, you know... The Maxine, the C19 potion, okay. But his ultimate plan is to put a microchip within you, man. So these are the evils. These are some of the evils that we're we're, we're foreseeing, man. Okay, as as is described in uh, uh, Hebrews 11 and 7, I believe. Speaking of Noah, he was prophesying of things that are not yet. Okay, we're we're, we're you know the men of the Lord are back. Lord's will of the elect, and we're prophesying of things that have uh, that are not yet seen okay so all these things that we speak of and have been speaking of mainly our apostles and elders of great millstone going back to the 80s they've been speaking of these things and, and giving that warning okay and our people have been uh you know shunning the the warning okay they've been laughing and making mockery at the at, at the warning okay <clears throat> so it says a prudent man perceived the evil and hide himself but the simple pass on, okay? Who are the simple? All right? Let's go to Proverbs, the first chapter. The simple of our people. You simple so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. All right? Proverbs 1 and 21. She, uh, uh, 20. Wisdom crieth without. She uttered her voice in the streets, okay? She crieth in the chief place of concourse in the openings of the gates, all right? And that's why you see the men of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, set up uh, uh, on the highways and byways throughout the whole earth, okay? Now, before the Lord uh, sp split us up into smaller sanctuaries, uh, we were gathered, you know, us, you know, speaking of the camp that I'm a part of, we were in downtown LA for the longest. And before that, Hollywood, man, before that, brothers, was in, we was in downtown, okay? So the word been going out, man, all right? But what people, people, uh, 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 you know, we're making mockery, man. Not taking the, the, the warning serious, man. Okay? 
So it says, she cried in the chief place of concourse in the openings of the gates in the city. She uttered for words saying, how long you simple ones. All right. So these are the simple ones that the scriptures are speaking about in Proverbs 22nd chapter. It says, how long you simple ones will you love simplicity? Okay. And this, and this, this, this whole world is, is based off of simplicity, man. You know, and the scorners delight in the scorning and fools hate knowledge. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Okay. And Yahweh, where Yahweh Shai has made known his words uh, uh, unto you tribes, man. Unto the whole earth, really. Okay. This is uh, Matthew. I'm going to start at 12, man, because this is the time that we're in. All right. This is Matthew 12, uh, 24 and 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. So when the shit hit the fan out here, it's going to be a heavy spirit of uh, It's going to be a cold spirit out here, man. All right. It's going to be a, a, a merciless spirit out here, man. You know, scripture say friends are going to fight like enemies. You know. Look, another chopper, man. I've been hearing all uh, choppers all day. You know, on where I live at, man. All right, so something major is about to happen, man. You know, it's been about... I've heard personally about my, my, myself today about five to seven choppers, man, flying above, or maybe more. You know? I believe those are military choppers. You know, and I'm here in Southern Cali. All right, it says, and many fall, uh, Salat 12, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Okay, so friends are going to fight like enemies, man. People going to turn to each other. People going to betray each other, man. It's going to get real cold out here. Okay, people are going to uh, uh, do the nastiest things to one another, things that you can't even think of, you know. It says, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And that's our, our mission. Our mission is, is to hold on to our faith and, and, and to endure until the very end, okay? Because we want to be delivered. We want to be saved from this uh, uh, wrath to come. We want to be shielded in these times of uh, uh, of peril, okay? Be he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. So you men that have given up the fight, you know, you stop, you stop hitting the highways, you know, you stop watching the men of the Lord. You know, you stop doing your lessons. You no longer tuned in, in in the spirit. You know, you're more concerned with the uh, things of this world. You're more you're more concerned with your lust. Hey, you didn't you didn't you didn't uh, endure to the end. So how do you expect to be saved, man? You know, this is a thing of completing. The scriptures say, uh, count the cost, man. Do you have sufficient to finish uh, thereof? You know, paraphrase it. I believe that's Luke 14 or Luke 12. Okay. It says, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom, all right, the gospel that we're teaching, all right, the, the Israelites being the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, all right, the true names of Yahweh, I mean, the Heavenly Father and the Son being Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, okay, Esau, Edom being the so-called white man, so on and so on, okay, uh, uh, the wrath to come, the kingdom to come. All right. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. OK, and this word has went out. OK, the scriptures say, have they not heard our report? And, you know. Uh, I forget how it goes. Psalms 19. Let me just get it. Or is that Romans 10? Psalms 19 and uh, uh, 1. It says, The heavens declare the glory of the Most High, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Day unto day utter speech, and night unto night show of knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. So who ain't heard this, man? You know? Who hasn't heard this thing, man? Their line is going out throughout the earth. And their words to the end of the world And them have he set a tabernacle for the sun Okay, so everyone has heard this word, man The word has went out So now, the end is gonna come Alright, because now you jakes You have no cloak for your sins 
You know, now you know that a prophet has when these things begin to uh uh uh, uh play out, okay? Now you're going to know that prophets have been among you. Let me grab that next. It says, "And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come." All right? So now we know, you know, fast forward to 2021. All right? Because our 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 teachers, our apostles and elders, they've been teaching before the uh uh the YouTube. But you know, when the YouTube came, okay, did a lot of the heavy lifting. Okay, it, 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 it pushed this word throughout the four corners of the earth through their due, due diligence, man. It's all set up in the spirit, all right? Because that's why the internet was, was mainly created, to gather the Lord's elect with his word, man. Okay? So now the end is going to come. All right? What was I going to grab? Ezekiel 33. All right. Ezekiel 33 and... Uh, 30 also thou son of man the children of thy people you know so like you for jumping all around you know i'm just going in the spirit but i uh uh you know it's all on it's all on target it's all on point you know that the end is manifest man okay everything that yahweh what yahweh Shad said he was gonna do has been happening man and we know it's gonna continue to happen all the way up to the work to, to to the return of our lord yahweh Shai, man and even then again Prophecy is going to uh, transpire It says also thou son of man The children of thy people still are talking Against thee by the walls And in the doors of the houses And speak one to another Every one to his brother saying Come I pray you and hear What is the word that cometh forth From the Lord Okay so our people are well aware Of the truth man Alright You're well aware of the truth But you you didn't like it You didn't like the way it, the, You didn't like the taste That it left in your mouth man You know Especially you women man But you know Of course the Lord Is dealing with men Alright And a lot of our people Have rejected the truth man You know You you rejected the mercy Of Yahweh With Yahweh Shai man So now you gotta uh, You gotta deal with The consequences of that Alright It says And they come unto thee As the people cometh and they be, and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words. Okay. All right. So they look at this thing as a as entertainment, man. All right. They want to watch, you know, because now it's you know it's on YouTube. You know, everyone's gathering around. I'm sure watching us as entertainment. It says, hear and hear thy words, but they will not do them. Right. They're hearing the 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 things that we're speaking of. They hear the scriptures, but yet it's not moving them. To uh, repent It says for with their mouth They show much love But their heart goeth after their covetousness Okay So basically Jake is full of shit You know Jake could talk a good one But their actions speak otherwise man They don't want to leave off from their wickedness And that's okay We understand Majority of our people Okay Two thirds of our people in this land Is not going to understand it They're not going to get it the most I gon' they're gonna have to die and be cut off, man. Alright. It says, And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that have a pleasant voice and can play well on the instrument, for they hear thy words, but they do they do them not. Okay? Like the scriptures say, uh, how would I like in this generation to, to children's uh, uh 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 singing in the marketplace or you know, playing a lovely song in the marketplace. You know, our people are not dancing. We're mourning unto them, and they're not mourning. Okay? It says, And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. All right? When these things begin to transpire, okay? And it's your reality. It's your life. It's your every day. Okay? And you having to deal with the wrath of Yahweh with Yahweh Shai uh, via Esau Edom, the so-called white man. Then you're going to know, you're going to understand that those crazy men that are on the corners, okay, that was telling you to repent and get right with Yahweh, with Yahweh Shai. Then you're going to understand that those were the prophets, man. You know, because people have a misconstrued idea of what the prophet should be. You know, no, the prophets are the ones that the Most High set up, man. That are warning you, giving you warning, man. All right. Ezekiel 3 and 17 It says Son of man I have made thee a watchman Unto the house of Israel Therefore hear the word 
at my mouth and give them warning for me. Right? The scripture say that we're uh we're the watchmen, man. You know, Isaiah 62 and 6. I uh set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem. Okay, we're the watchmen, man. Watching for what? The prophecies, man. Watching out for danger. It says, When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. And that goes to the men that are not uh, 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 prophesying, that are not giving that warning. You know, that hear this word and, and, and sit on it, man. The Lord is going to require that blood at your hand, man. All right. It says, yet if thou warn the wicked. All right. Let's look up this word warn. Yet if thou warn the wicked. Okay. Zahor. To admonish, to warn, teach, shine, send out light to be light, to be shining. Hey, the scripture said we're like light. Okay. But we're supposed to admonish and warn and teach Jake, man. Okay. The Lord said, tell them whether they hear or they forbear. All right. It says, yet if thou warn the wicked and he turn not from his wickedness. Okay. Like we've been doing. Nor from his wicked way. He shall die in his iniquity. But thou hast delivered thy soul. All right, and that's the that's the, that's the point, you know. So we're those we're those men that are set up to warn, and if you re if you refuse the warning, you refuse to take heed to the to the trumpet that's being alarmed, and being sound, that's on you. Okay, but we're trying to deliver our souls. The scripture say we believe in the saving of the soul. All right. So let's go back to Proverbs twenty two and three. It says, "A prudent man receiveth the evil." Okay, so now we understand that we're uh, uh, we're those prudent men. All right, the prophets are the prudent men. The prophets are the seers. Okay, the prophets are the visionaries, the ones with the faith. The prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself in this knowledge, but the simple pass on. All right, and are punished. Okay, the simple pass on and are punished. And the scriptures tell you that uh, our people are led to a flock. As a flock to the slaughter, all right. Second Edges 15 and uh, ten. Behold, my people, all right, the Israelites from the 12 tribes, so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And we also have our people that are likened unto the sp a speckled bird that look like the heathen, but inwardly are Israelites, okay. If you can understand. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. Okay? I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. So the simple that are passing on and are being punished, that are going to be punished, are like a flock to the slaughter, man. The, the, that flock that has no idea what's about to take place. So you Jakes here in America, mainly, you have no idea what's, what's, what's about to take place. Even though you see the, uh, you know, the, 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 uh, the shutdowns and you see the, 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 the stricter measures, man. Here it is. You got to wear a mask everywhere you go. And everybody thinks everything is okay, man. That's why they call you sheeple. Okay? Sheeple. It says, A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. Right? The ones that don't want to take heed to the warning, you're going to pass on and you're going to be punished. You're going to be that flock to the slaughter, man. Okay? Now, let me jump to 2nd Edges 9. Okay, 2nd Edges 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. All right, how do you measure the time? You line what's going up, what's going on in the world, and you filter it through the scriptures, man. Okay, it says, And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And that word visit means to inflict punishment. So now we're in a time of, of, the, of the highest inflicting punishment upon you people, man. You wicked people. Okay? And, then, and the Lord is known for that. All right? Check out uh, uh, the book of Genesis, man. Check out the time of Noah. Okay? The Lord flooded the whole earth and saved eight souls, man. All right? And he says it's going to be like the day of Noah in this time. And the days of Lot. It says... Therefore, when there should be seen earthquakes, okay, earthquakes happen every day. 
and uproars of the people in the world, and you have all type of uproars right now, okay? Anti-lockdown uproars, man, is the main one, okay? Last week, over there, up there at the Capitol, although that was set up, that's an uproar, man. <laughs> okay, and we're going to see what happens tomorrow. Then shall thou well understand that the most I speak of those things from the days that were before it, before thee, even from the, the beginning. What the scripture say? Uh, <clears throat> dang, how does it go? Uh, before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Okay. Was that Isaiah 42? But this is another one. He, he said the end from the beginning, something like that, you know, paraphrasing. Uh, Isaiah 42 and 9. Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. All right, prophecies. He's speaking of prophecies. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Okay? So before they spring forth, Yahweh, what Yahweh uh, 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 tells you of them via uh, 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 the prophets, man. Okay? Declare the end. Okay. This is a. Uh, nah. This is not it. Yeah, I'm not sure where it's at, but. You know. Going back to Second Andrews nine and four, it says, "Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things uh, from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Okay, manifest being plainly seen. Okay, um, the scriptures say, better is the end of a thing. All right. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonder." And powerful works and endings and effects and signs. And that's all we're about to witness, man. Okay? Uh, 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 wonders, powerful works, endings and effects and signs, man. Okay? So we already see how 2021 is opening. You know, and we're hoping that this is the year that Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, you know, uh, 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 destroys this place, man. Okay? And brings salvation to his hopeful elect, man. Okay, and it could very well be that year, man. All right, so we got to continue to watch and pray. We're going to see what the Lord has, uh, you know, in store for tomorrow, man. You know, so Lord, Lord's word, this was edifying. You know, I kind of was everywhere, but Lord's word, is, it, it all makes sense in the spirit. And, and, and uh, you know, it's uh, edifying. So Lord's word is edifying. I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Yahweh Till next time, Shalom.